Hello everybody and welcome to today's lecture. This lecture is about the sky. We will study the sky coordinates, how stars move in the sky and um, uh, we will get used to new terms such as the right ascension and declination and um, the coordinate systems in the sky. So, the celestial sphere, key concepts, the sky as seen from Earth is divided into 88 constellations. It's convenient to pretend the stars are attached to a celestial sphere and the celestial sphere appears to rotate about the celestial poles one day. The sun appears to move west to east relative to stars in a one year and the position uh, and the moon appears to move west to east relative to stars in a one month we will see what is that exactly in the coming slides so the sky is divided into 88 constellations but um, in Mesopotamia uh, 3000 BC were the oldest known constellations. It's, it was the first tries to uh, uh, divide the sky into constellations. And Ptolemy in the second century AD divided the sky into 48 constellations in the northern sky. And in the 16th to 18th century AD unmapped regions of the sky was filled in and that's because the um, the ability to find new stars that were not a that we were not able to see constellations are largely largely arbiter arbitrary for example other cultures other constellations which means each culture has its own constellations because constellations are those chosen stars in the sky that move together they are not clusters they don't really they don't really uh, exist near each other but they move relatively uh, with each other to form uh, a constellation shape a geometry uh, but it's by our choice that we can decide the shapes of these constellations. But there are stars that move fast that you cannot uh, use in constellations. You can, for example, see an umbrella today, but by tomorrow you cannot see this umbrella. But there are fixed shapes that change by millennia, by thousands and ten, tens of thousands of years. For example, we have the Ursa Major, which is a beer dipper, bull's leg, grain scoop, wagon, plow, and etc. These are different things in different uh, cultures. Stars in a constellation usually are not as the same distance from us. As we said, they are not uh, they are not a cluster, they do not exist uh, next to each other. It's just, um, a, I don't like to say coincidences, but it's, um, it's an apparent movement. It's caused due to relative movement, not real. Uh, they're not, they don't really exist next to each other. At a different place in our galaxy, we would see different star patterns. So this is Ursa Major. It does not look like a beer, but um, people um, and stargazers looked at the sky and they found that there are some stars here and there and they are forming legs, body, tail and face. But if you do not put this uh, beer, you will not recognize it as a beer. So this is called the celestial sphere and 
a celestial sphere is the extension of the earth say the earth in the middle and the celestial sphere is just an um, an extension for the earth and if you extended the earth axis you will have a north celestial pole which has uh, polaris the star polaris and um, you will have also a southern pole and you will have a celestial equator like there is um, uh, uh, an equator for the earth and the sky is the the absolute the absolute um, uh, celestial sphere has uh, borders it's like countries on the earth there are borders these borders are known as constellations so these borders which are the 88 constellation they has the different geometries of different uh, constellations so, so we define a constellation as a region that fills the sky okay we have also uh, another uh, arc or, or a circle that passes through or intersects the celestial equator which is the ecliptic which is the path of the Sun okay let's um, get used to new terms like the right ascension and declination in the right ascension and declination we have uh, if this is the earth and you are standing this way you are standing uh, uh, at the North Pole you will find that the North Celestial Pole is up to your head at the zenith and you will find that uh, it's like the latitude there is another system called declination so as you move up the declination increases and as you move down it's with that with, with with negative values and on these circles there is the right ascension so the right ascension is something like the um, longitude but for the uh, celestial sphere we're talking here about what we are talking about an absolute system this is an absolute system for This is an absolute system used for the uh, uh, celestial sphere and it's not used for the um, uh, uh, sky dome. The sky dome has a big difference. It's your position on this, uh, uh, on the earth, you have your own sky dome we will understand this more during the coming slides okay so here is a person standing here on the equator and he is looking towards the um, north celestial pole so as you see uh, this is the horizon of that person standing on on a special uh, latitude and longitude having the meridian lines and uh, looking towards the north celestial pole so according to your latitude the 
north pole position changes so this is an absolute system but this is uh, a an apparent system depending on your position and this 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 system does not have uh, a rising and a set for the uh, stars and the sun but this system has a rising and a set okay okay this is another person standing here on a latitude 40 degrees and he is looking t upward to the uh, north celestial pole to so to polaris so here is that person standing on the horizon and looking to the north celestial pole and as you see uh, so this is a person standing here on the uh, horizon looking at the uh, he is standing at the same position like this one at the same latitude 40 degrees and that's why the position of Polaris is the same also 40 degrees because this is the horizon of the person okay uh, in the celestial sphere the declination of stars is always fixed it changed by millennia but the right ascension changes during the year due to the movement of earth around the sun uh, except for planets and the sun the declination and right ascension changes um, as for here on this system on the um, uh, celestial equator uh, in the in the um, uh, on the horizon we use another system called altitude and azimuth and this will be discussed in the coming lecture because it's uh, different it's about the rise and sets of stars